Homie, what are you doing? You don't know how to fly? I drove a car over a cliff once. How different could it be? Hmm. What's the ocean doing in the sky? <laughs> There's only one man who can help us now. Hello, and welcome to success. It's Marge Simpson. I need you to coach like you've never coached before. Marge, please. I'm with a client. Now you listen here, bub. We paid you all the savings we had in the world. You can at least tell my husband something encouraging. All right, Homer, what is it you're attempting to do? Win over a difficult client? I'm trying to land a plane with no experience. Homer, I gotta tell you, I'm not very good. I went to the Harvard of the South. Duke? That's good. Not Duke. Vanderbilt? A little further south. Don't make me say it. <gasps> Deathman has reported you to the FAA. This near miss will be investigated by a board of three retired pilots. Okay, Homer, I don't know anything about planes, but I know about you. You have what made America great. No understanding of the limits of your power and a complete lack of concern for what anyone thinks of you. So you'll land that plane. And do you know why? Because I heard some guy say you couldn't. What? I'll show him. I'll show that guy. Elevation 300 feet, 200 feet, 50 feet. Ah! Landed a jet! And now to taxi to the terminal. Go! March flying in private jets is great and all, but it's just too dangerous. That's why I've decided to go to the plant and beg Mr. Burns for my old job back. I understand, homie. And at least we can take the extra income you've earned in the last few months and set it aside for a rainy day. You think so, but no. Mr. Ritchie, your American Music Awards are weighing us down. Let them go. You let yours go. I don't have any. That's right. You don't. <laughs> Thank you.